Okay, let's just do it. Stabilizers are coming online, and the way looks clear, but I'm also getting spikes. The stability in your region is tanking. Get out of there. Uh, Fast. Yeah, we gotta go. Okay. I knew it. I knew we were gonna have a gentle drive out of here. Welcome back, everybody, to Pacific Drive. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, we're picking up right where we left off from the last episode. Uh, I had basically just paused the menu, stopped the last recording, and started the next one just because these episodes are going really long. So, yeah, we're pretty much picking up right where we left off. We are on a mission called Stabilizing a Way Through, uh, through Return to Sierra. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. I um, We have one log entry uh, for a new anomaly called the... Uh, the wriggling wreck. Yeah. Uh, so it's a trap. It's a goddamn trap. It's a monster. This place is learning how to ambush us. You know what that means? It means it doesn't want us here. This place doesn't want us. A whole ass part of the world is rejecting us, trying to get rid of us, trying to push us out. Think about that for a moment. That's horrific. This thing was like some kind of wicked new wildlife ready to spring at us, but only us. Except, you know what? It's not like wildlife. You never notice... Uh, you ever notice how these anomalies don't attack one another? When have you seen them fight? Wildlife is an ecosystem, infinite parts responding to one another. The anomalies, listen to me, that's the zone uniting against us. Okay. So, yeah, that's that thing that trapped us right at the very end of the last episode, in case you missed it. And it's called the Wriggling Wreck, and we don't like it. Okay. Let's get started here. And we're going through the junction to the next part. Uh, okay, so yeah, there we go. Serum system. Okay. There's a whole lot standing between where we are and the deep zone, like another wall and the entire mid zone for starters. It's not as simple as driving there. We can't control the instability any more than we can control the weather. At the height of Lim R&D, thousands of us lived and worked here in the zone. So we built Lim stabilizers to make certain sectors and roads a little more predictable than others. It was the only way we could operate as a live research compound despite the instability. And yes, the same technology that destabilized the landscape in the first place. Lim technology was always a double-edged sword from the beginning. We're going to put those stabilizers to work and clear you a path. The old observation towers surrounding Sierra ought to have a map of the stabilizers in that sector. Mind swinging by and finding one? Okay, so we got to go to that observation tower there. And we have three um, anchor power sources that we're going to also do. Oh, this, uh, this zone has got a lot of shit going on in it. And this is the one that's got that, that big uh, anomaly thing that we jumped through. Lots of looting it looks like too, but I don't want to focus. I want to spend a lot of time looting in this episode. I want to. I want to work on the quest. So, uh, but we are going to get the power. We really need to get these for our technology stuff. So it looks like this is the closest thing to get to first. Um, actually, no. Let's. Yeah, we want to take a a left, and then a a right at those two junctions. Okay, let's get on this. I am going to stop for the pneumatic things, because those can have good stuff in them. Anomaly Studies 5. Alright. I think that's just a, a, a log that we read. It's not an audio log. So we'll worry about that later. Uh, yeah, we can put that right there. 
Okay, we got a can opener coming through here. Let's let it pass before we... Okay. I'm sure glad they have little, little red lines showing you all that stuff. The towers are locked up tight, but you can tighten up security protocols all day only for one disgruntled employee to program in his name for fun and mess it all up. Anyway, the overload code is 4735. 4735. Four seven three five. Okay. Four seven three five. Boy, I was assigned to clean these towers out every time the guards rotated. And things I saw. Let's just say that keeping a watch on Sierra day in and day out did not make for a good time. I didn't envy those guards one bit. Okay. I'll take that loot. Um, since we're here, we might as well break down this. Um, anything else up here? I don't see anything. Okay. So, I guess this is, yeah, this is the map. Okay, scan it. sector stabilizers that'll do the job they're not too far so I've added the location to your route the access road will lead you straight there once you're ready oh, okay so we have to go to a new junction interesting all right so uh, let's go after the power so do we want to try and risk going off the side of this mountain it looks awfully steep uh, I don't think so maybe we could well let's take a look at it it'd be going off down this way yeah that looks like an actual cliff there well no we could go down this way I mean, we got the off-road tires. It's just that if I really jack up the vehicle, then I gotta you know, get it all repaired, and we need to keep it in good shape. Yeah, let's not take any unnecessary risks. So, um, I'm just gonna go back down the road, and then we'll turn right and go to this junction. And we'll get the power there and maybe maybe loot that place depending upon what it is. Okay, we've got another one of these um uh investigator thingies. Last time we looked in here we got a, a nice back seat thing. An electrician's kit. Okay, that's good because we just burned the one we had. Um, and just crude bumpers and panels. Okay, so we'll take the rest of this stuff. I'm not obviously worried about the bumpers and panels. These are just off-road tires. Okay. Anything else? That's just a steel door. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. And we got some more loot skis. Oh, can we get some fuel out of here? Yeah, it looks like there's a decent amount of fuel in there. I'd like to find a gas station so we can fill up our back seat gas tank. Oops. Oh, yeah, this has a lot of fuel in it. Nice. Very good. Okay, put that away. And let's roll. Okay, pretty much this anchor is almost directly in front of us.
this way a little more. There it is. Okay. I'm going to leave the car running so we can get out of here quick. here for a second look at the map um, park here for a second look at the map okay the next one's just pretty much straight ahead just follow that um oh there it is did, did we scan this guy Oh, we didn't. He's an abductor. Okay, so that's what those things are called. Let's avoid him. Oh, I think we have a gas station. Nice. With a bunch of tourists. Oh! God, that scared me. They just <laughs> bastards. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. I mean, we don't have serious damage to the car. All right, I want to. Uh, I want to go get filled up on get our other tank filled up. Oh, shit. I didn't do that. It's that rainbow shit. It makes my car do crazy stuff. Well, damn it. We just took a shit ton of damage from that. Oh, well. What can you do? Jesus. That really screwed us up. Okay. Let's grab this, and we'll fill you up. And can I bring you around? Oh, I'm gonna have to. Can I? Can I get through the door there? Oh, there's a thing. Uh, no, I think I'm gonna have to turn the car around. Okay, no problem. That's already full? How did, oh, I bet you it automatically filled it up when we filled the main tank up. Oh, cool. Okay. I can dig that. Um, let's fill this guy all the way up too. Might as well. Uh, here, pick it up. There we go. Okay. Very good. So we have a nice supply of fuel now. Oh, I have to have this in my hand. All right, let's get the putty out. Oh, that sucks. Did that happen? Are our wheels in good shape? They seem to be. Okay, so this panel's pretty rough. The road's pretty rough. That's it. I think we're back to pretty good condition overall. Yep, nothing's showing off. Uh, okay, uh, we need to turn around and go right directly behind us to get that last power. Um, I don't. Mm, uh, now nah, I don't think I'm going to loot the store. Let's just go. I would if if I knew we could get. Um, oh, is that a piece of cloth lying on the ground? If I knew we could get chemicals in there, I 
Oh yeah, that's uh Oh, it's a first aid kit. Okay. I'll take that. Uh, can I put you here? Yeah. I don't think this has chemicals in it. Let's just take a quick look. Maybe it does. Oh, there's a workbench. And a... A deco vend? What the hell is that? Money wizard? Oh, that's a that's paint. Oh, that's cool. That's the first time I've seen that. A little bit of radiation going on in here. Yeah, let's let's get the hell out of here. Um that's kinda neat that it has a workbench though. Oh, there's stuff out here from that explosion. Plastics. Well, that's a nice little collection of stuff. I've noticed that um, cloth kind of tend to run out of cloth pretty quickly. So it's always good to find more of that. That's that deco thing. Oh, we'll worry about that later. Okay, let's go. Oh, shoot. Shouldn't have let the car run. Uh, Alright. We're going down this way. Right, right to Cappy. Hopefully Cappy doesn't hurt us. Uh, okay, let's go a little easy here. There's a pneumatic thing. Let's check it. Got radiation going on too, but... Two different types of paint. Whoops. Okay, let's go. It'll be fun when we get to the point where we can actually start painting the car and decorating it and spitting it up. Okay, that's our marker. Now we actually want to go this. Oh, there it is right there. Right underneath Cappy. Go figure. No. God damn it. It's that rainbow shit. No, don't. Park me in front of those assholes. <coughs> oh, everything just turned black for a minute there. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Okay. We need to... Get up here, and then we can just follow this dirt road all the way to where we need to go. Okay. Okay, before we go through here... I want to get our battery charged up. And we need this to do that. Let's put these paints in here. Now 
it's taking us to the junction F1 stabilizer. Okay. Blistering woods. The woods there can be a bit of a maze. If you get lost, follow the pipes. The limb tech and those stabilizers ran so damn hot, only more limb tech could contain it from complete meltdown. Follow the pipes, she said. Okay. Um, all right, let's stop here for a minute. So that's where we got to go to all three of those spots. All right, um, I'm thinking we do this one first. So this is the dirt road we want to get off on. Let's do it. It's my turn to give you an explanation. Oh, okay. About the mass hallucination event that Tobias and Francis were going on about. But don't worry, I won't be nearly as long-winded. Because there honestly isn't much that we know about it. What it happened the hell on the was morning that? of September 14th, 1961. My colleague, Dr. James Kay, was conducting experiments at a highly classified site in the deep zone. Spike puddle. He was assisted by my husband, Dr. Alan Turner. At 0400, their experiment unleashed a gamma ray surge that instantly killed both of them. Oh, that's The surge was an impossible amount of energy, orders of magnitude greater than any man made source. It also triggered hallucinations in anyone awake within a 10 mile radius. It was a burst of widespread insanity. That doesn't look good. But only for a short moment. Widespread insanity, insanity for a short moment, she said. Um, okay, so that's another anomaly thing. Let's put that up there. How's our health? Yeah, let's eat this. I'm just going to eat all of them because that'll get us all topped off. Okay, spike thingy doodles. Um, spike puddle. Captain Neil Douglas filing. Today, when engaged in a pursuit of a pair of zone trespassers, three vehicles from B Company were damaged and put out of action by what may have been traps deliberately laid. The trespassers who crossed from Canada via the Sa Salish Sea. Uh, by the way, the Salish Sea, I believe, is also or, or more commonly known as the Strait of Juan de Fuca. Um, because that's uh, the Olympic Peninsula. Um, the Strait of Juan de Fuca is right off the shore of the Olympic Peninsula, and then Canada is across from there. Um, maybe fugitives are believed to have landed somewhere near Joyce. Oh, that's cool, Joyce. That, that's where I lived when I was a little boy, in Joyce. Oh, that's cool that they have Joyce in here. I love it. Uh, after traveling uh, via small boat, after multiple sightings and extensive tracking, we encountered the trespassers at approximately 1,100 hours and began vehicular pursuit down several fire roads. Driving a stolen government car, the trespassers evaded capture for some time and were unable to prevent further pursuit by leading our team across patches of some kind of semi-organic oil-like spikes. All three cars used in the pursuit suffered, uh, suffered destroyed tires and damaged wheels. It is unclear at this time whether these patches had been somehow laid in response to the pursuit or had existed some time before him. The patches are extremely dangerous and utterly unlike anything we have seen before. Recommend requisitioning tracked vehicles from Fort Lewis for further exploration. Crazy. Uh, I don't think we read the abductor either. Uh, Dear Maggie, once again, I miss you and the kids so much. I'm sorry I haven't written sooner, but it's been just crazy out here. I have a few moments right now, so I figured it would be good to put pen to paper. I hope you don't mind the handwriting being so wiggly. Uh, but me and the guys are in a bit of a pickle right now. You see, our van got pulled up into a tree. I'm afraid I can't explain exactly what happened, top secret things and all, but we're safe. Trust me on that. We also have two hours to wait before rescue comes, hanging 50 feet above the ground and right on a ridge. Oh, damn. Uh, I'll send this as soon as we get back to the barracks and write you a much better letter after. But in the meantime, here's a picture. I sketched it out uh, while we were waiting. If there's one thing we have up here, it's a heck of a view. Yeah, that's a wonderful picture there you got there. <laughs> um, stabilizer map, that just tells us where the towers are. This just tells us about ornaments. Money wizard. Play the game, Gary. Oh, that's like a... That's like a, a, a dingle balls from the mirror thing. Okay. And then we have these things here. Anomaly encounters... Too. I'm nervous saying this because people will say it. You know what? I wonder if we should 
wait until we've collected the whole thing and then we can read read it all through. I think that's what we'll do because it looks like these may go together. So yeah, let's do that. Let's wait till we collect them all and then we'll then we'll read them through it in one fell swoop. And it'll probably make more sense at that point too. Okay, let's go. Yeah, uh, we won't be driving over spike puddles. No siree, Bob. Nasty. Okay. Anyway, what the hell we got going on here? I don't know, but we're driving around the other side. Don't hit the trees. Look at that big reverse pothole. What the hell is this? Airstrip. Okay. A strip of air. Tobias, this is Francis Cook. Yeah, the scientist. I've got a bit of an update for you. I'm afraid it's bad news. Those drums of experimental gravity gel we were sending back to you are not going to get there. <laughs> oh, shit. Neither is the truck, it seems. We had some kind of atmospheric shift and then more anomalies <coughs> than I think I've ever seen before. Um, everyone's safe, but our driver has a broken leg, and as for the gel, well, the whole strip of road between our lab site and that old gas station got smeared and scrambled, so now it's more like some kind of a giant trampoline. I'm not kidding. Anything that touches that road just takes off. It's starting to spread to some of the forest and swamp nearby. It's not that the gel is just spilled on the ground. It's like it's part of the ground now. A part of the earth itself. So I guess you can update your inventory logs on that. Is that there's some kind of maintenance request that I should file for this? Uh, we missed something here too. Oh, uh, just the the paints. Yeah, red paint. Okay, sure. Uh, okay, so they're saying that that launches you into the air. Hmm. So. The thing is, is what goes up must come down and probably get a shit ton of damage in the process. Um, can we drive around this thing? Yeah. I, yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of the idea of damaging the shit out of our car on an an airstrip thingy, so let's not do that. Oh. Okay, um... Let's go back this way. man. That's a major roadblock. Are we going the right direction? Yeah, I think so. Oh, this shit's all over the place. Oh! I didn't mean to hit it. Okay. <laughs> uh, that kind of sucks. Are we? Uh, yeah, we're at the tower. Okay. I do, uh, do we know what that is? It's coming this way. Can I scan this? That's called a minute man. Is that what this thingy is too? Oh, 
A crackling crawler. Oh, wow. That is just so bizarre. Who thinks up this shit? <laughs> uh, okay. Let's go back to our car. I'm going to actually pop in here really quick just to see if they have some chemicals. Uh, yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Okay. Two things of Kim's. Beautiful. We'll take it, man. We will take it. Nothing in there. All right, let's go. No. Find a cool in pipe and follow it. I'm not lost. Yeah, that little jump up in the air, I'm sure, didn't do our cars any favor. Uh, any favors. I didn't, like I said, I didn't mean to do that. I guess I just nabbed the, the end of it or something. So we'll grab stuff out of here since it's pretty easy to get to. Oh shit. Is that thing gonna. Oh no! Don't hit my car! Oh shit! It's <laughs> it's chasing me! I do not like that thing. Let's uh let's drive around to the other side of the building. Sucks. Okay, whatever, that works. Let's take a quick look in here. That stays over that way. All right, what are we doing? Here. You know, 30 seconds of hallucinations. Sure didn't feel short when I was free falling through outer space. Heck of a ride, though. Did you know the rings of satin sing? I saw disembodied arms. Tons of them. They were grasping and crawling. <laughs> And, uh, what about you, Oppie? What did you see? I saw nothing. How is that possible? Everybody else saw something. Must have passed me by. I don't know what to tell you. But weren't you working in your lab that night? And weren't you supposed to be doing your research rather than keeping track of my whereabouts? <laughs> okay. Wow. Touchy. Touchy. Tires are good. I, I, I'm not gonna like do a full repair just because uh, I don't want to use up all my chemicals before we get back to the base. But if anything is like, yeah, see that's got to be repaired big time. We could probably let that one go. The lights and the bumpers are in pretty good shape overall. Uh, yeah, let's just let's go with that for now. I'm just like I said, I'm trying to be somewhat conservative with the putty. Okay, so we got one of the towers lit up. Uh, the next one for us to go to is. Now that we know the remnants were connected to the mass hallucination, maybe we can figure out what caused it. Oh boy, oh boy, do I have theories. Theories. <laughs> Don't start. Dr. K and Alan clearly uncovered some new way of using limb to motivate that gamma ray burst. Let's see if oh, we can yes, go off the side the here. gamma rays come from? But out of space. Just because there's so many obstructions in the road, 
there that are we came plenty up. of terrestrial sources of gamma rays. Thunderstorms, for example. No, 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 no. You, you said it yourself. The energy levels from that night are much greater than anything we've seen on Earth. Sure, but going straight to aliens when there's countless perfectly scientific possibilities. Perhaps Dr. K and Alan developed a limb-assisted mass particle collision. Or, oh, heck, tapped into some sort of gamma ray reservoir. A reservoir? Reservoir? Or a portal. A portal? <laughs> to where exactly? To Atlantis. Of course! No, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> that's absolutely it. Oh, man, that's funny. Okay, uh, let's go to here. Yep, that's where we need to go next. I have a feeling like once we activate all three of these towers, some the shit's going to hit the fan in some way. Okay, let's stay away from that stuff. Tourists are all arcing too. It's creepy bastards. Um, yeah, let's just wait for these guys to dissipate. Here we go. More spike puddles, stay away from those. This road wasn't quite as bad to get up as the other one was. for you what I do is not and has never been any of your business you're asking us to trust you so yes it's our business now how about this you two sign off and count orbs or whatever it is you like to do and I'll get the driver to the mass hallucination source myself excuse me no 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 Tobias found this remnant this is his discovery sure and I'll send you a nice gift basket to mark the occasion <laughs> but I won't let anyone interfere with this. Okay. Man, those guys are like at each other's throats, the aren't they? With that? <clears throat> we um, either throw everything we can at this thing, or we lose this chance, and the answers to the mass hallucination are gone forever. This isn't like one of your little Sasquatch Let's... hunts. I'm not letting you get your tinfoil pseudoscience anywhere near this. Tinfoil this is pseudoscience. Too damn important to me. Let's go off the edge again, like it we sure did before. Seem too important earlier when you messed up and nearly killed the driver. You want to play that game? You really want to talk about our track records? You guys, Screw relax. You, RP. I'd rather run this remnant into the ground than work with either of you. I oh, forget it. We're wasting our breath with this old bear. It's oh, gotta shit, be this is steep. She's out of her mind. I can't do this. I... Look, if you want to waste <laughs> your precious time picking apart bird droppings and squinting at constellations, by all means, follow their lead. I we're better off without them, trust me. Wow, that was I'll steep. Through no matter what. We got it, though. This we got really it. Is my last chance. All right, ops, just chillax, okay? All right, let's see. We need to go right, and then at this junction, we turn left. Okay. Let's do it. You know what? I just realized there's no energy uh, anchor thingies here in this zone. Kind of sucks. All right, let's avoid the air wall thing. 
Oh, I said let's avoid it. God damn it. Didn't realize I hit it. <sighs> okay. Well, that just screwed up one of our doors. I mean, not break. Didn't break it, but hurt it a little bit. Uh, we're on the right track. Yes, we are. Okay. Seriously? Wow. I mean, who would do that, though? Because it's just going to absolutely destroy your car. I don't get it. This shit is all over the place. All right, let's go. This is kind of rough. way. Wait for the zappity zap to dissipate. There we go. Are you seriously going to go right across the road? You are, you bastard. Hopefully it keeps going that way. Okay. Um, all right, let's go through here. Man, if we if we have to get out of here in a hurry, all with all this shit in the road, that's going to be insane. All right, is this where we need to go? No, we need to go this way. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to fix up the car a little bit better. I want it to be in a little better shape than it currently is before we do whatever's going to happen at the end of this, which is probably not going to be fun. So let's grab a couple more things of putty. And just make sure we're in tip-top condition. Because if we have to run, we're probably going to be running into air walls and zappity zaps. And we absolutely cannot run into the spike puddles, though. Because that's going to kill us. Um, and so, you know, we just need to make sure our vehicle's in top condition because it's probably going to get the shit beat out of it. I, I know I, I know this game's not gonna let us just flip this last switch and then give us a gentle ride out. It's not gonna happen. Okay, those panels are in pretty good shape. Um, that's in good shape. It does got an X next to it though, which I think means it's becoming unreliable or something like that. The wheels have held up really good. Off-road tires. Okay. Yeah, so I think um you know, one of the things I've noticed about the off-road tires is I'm not getting all of the, you know, the flats and the loose wheels and all that shit that we were getting with the with the other, you know, tires. So, that's good. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Oh, the hood. We didn't hit the hood. Gotta get the hood. Uh, actually, here. I mean, it's not in terrible condition, but it could be better. And we ourselves should be in tip-top condition, too. Um, I don't have any food in here. Let's put these in our, in our inventory. Okay, here we go. Oh, we got a dumpster pearl there. All right, guys. Um, man, this is, let's um, 
Okay, let's just do it. Stabilizers are coming online, and the way looks clear, but I'm also getting spikes. Uh, Stability shit. in your okay. region is tanking. Get out of there. Uh, Fast. All right, so we're going to... We're going to go... Yeah, we got to go. Okay. I knew it. I knew we were going to have a gentle drive out of here. Can we... Can we go sort of kind of cross country? I mean, we can go th through this way at least. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that's a limb thingy. Or not a limb thingy, an anchor thingy. No, we can't stop for that. Uh-uh. Okay, let's get on this road here. No, this is not a good time for reverse potholes. Oh, this is intense. Okay, uh, oh. Yeah, wait. We, we don't have time. Oh, this isn't too bad. Okay. I was going to say, we don't have time to go around. We're just going to have to go do a little bit of cross country here to make this work. Okay, we can't go that way. Um, i got to stop for just a second. Where are we at? Okay, so we need to go down the road and just go around. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, this way. Oh shit, we're already in the not so good stuff. Here, let's go. I'm trying to kind of watch the map here and travel at the same time. Oh, this is intense, man. I kid you not. Okay, uh, we want to go this way? Yeah. Okay, go. I see the thing in the sky. It's just a matter of having a reasonably clear path to it. We're, we're pretty far away from the red stuff. I think the red stuff is when we, we start dying. So, I think we got this. Just don't run into any spike puddles. Do we want to try... Yeah, we can get around this wall thingy here. Avoid that son of a bitch. Yeesh. Okay. Um, we're so far, so good. Uh, I think... Yeah, let's go cross-country right here. Okay, well, whatever. We're gonna bounce up and do it like this. Oh, for a minute there, I thought we were gonna overshoot it. Oh my god, that was intense, you guys. <laughs> this game is crazy. Oh my god. We have 5.2 stable power. Nice work out there. The sector stabilizers Ooh. are fully operational. Oh, my heart rate. Straight shot toward the expansion wall. One more thing. You may want to consider armoring up a bit. Once you cross that wall, the mid zone is another beast altogether. Worse than this one? <laughs> oh, that is nuts. Okay. So, um, there you have it. So, we're going to wrap things up here, of course. And, um, when uh, we start the next episode, we'll get caught up on our notes. And we'll also see what we can do, you know, with our, um, five point whatever uh, things of anchor power. And then go from there. So, man, that was crazy, you guys. <laughs> it's so crazy. Uh, so, anyway, I got to go to bed in real life. I'm very tired. So, thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.